Hello everybody, I'm Uncle Hans, back again to talk about Chinese characters. This is what you call a go, a dog. This is my dog, Bao Bao. And uh, so today I'm going to talk about the characters for dog. Bao Bao, say hello to the audience. Bao Bao doesn't talk much. Okay, this is the character Chen, and it means dog, but it's sort of like the word canine. It's kind of more sophisticated word for dog. Uh, sometimes we say go, sometimes we say chen. But everybody knows that Chinese characters come from pictographs. Now, does this look like a dog? No, it doesn't look like a dog at all. Let's go back 2,000 years. This is the seal character for chen. Does it look like a dog? No, it doesn't look like a dog at all. 2,500 years ago, Confucius. You know Confucius. He wrote a dog like this. Does it look like a dog? No. I have a saying that in Confucius times, they must have had very strange looking dogs. Anyway, we have to go back 3,000 years and it kind of begins to look like a dog. If we go back 3,500 years, it looks like a dog. But this dog is going up. Now remember that not too long ago, Chinese would write from up to down, right to left. And animals, they were always tilted sideways. They were always going up. So I turned this dog uh, sideways so it looks like this. Now it actually looks like a dog. This is a pictograph. Clearly looks like a dog. Now this character here, which is in modern Chinese is pronounced shi, but we usually call it ju. It's a pig. This is a pig. This is a dog. What's the difference between a pig and a dog? Well, a dog's tail goes up and a pig's tail goes down. But let's look at this dog. We have the dog's mouth. The dog's mouth is open and the dog's ear is here and this is the dog's tail, the dog's legs. So we have one, two, three, four, five lines that make a picture of a dog and five lines that make a picture of a pig. I think it's quite cool. So this is Chen and uh, Shi or Ju for uh, pig. Now let's look at this character here. Here's another character for dog. It looks pretty much like this, except it doesn't have, it's only four lines, but still you can see the mouth and the ear. And it gets changed to look like this. This is also pronounced chin. And in many animals, well, if in this case for a dog, this is, uh, indicates that it's a dog, and this is the pronunciation part. This is pronounced go. I'll explain this uh, more a bit later. I want to explain another uh, animal. Uh, do we have a do we have a volunteer? Okay, yellow, come here. Okay. Uh, this is my other dog, yellow. Yellow, say hello to the people. Uh, this is now you know that this isn't actually a dog. This is a cat. Okay, okay, don't complain so much. Okay, now I want to explain cat. Okay, this is another animal, zhi. You can see it looks much like a dog, except it has a big mouth and it can bite. But here it has the tail and the feet and this animal, zhi, can bite. And this is a pictograph. It got simplified to something that looked like this. This is a traditional character. And this is a traditional character for cat. You can see that in the traditional character, it's a zhi, it's not a chen. This is a zhi, and this is a phonetic, which I'll explain in a minute. This is pronounced miao, but together they're pronounced mao. So many Chinese characters, we have a semantic component and a phonetic component. Now when they simplified cat, they turned the cat into a dog. They made a chin on the side, so now the cat is a special kind of a dog pronounced Mao. But this was, used to be a common character that indicated di uh, different kinds of animals. When they simplified Chinese characters, they got rid of this altogether and they made everything into a dog. So now this dog actually means some kind of a small animal, in this case, a cat. So I'm going to explain a couple of the components, the phonetic components. This is the character Miao. It means uh, sprouts in a field and you can see it looks like sprouts 
and this looks like a field. So that is a uh, pictograph, it's pretty obvious. And this is the word go, it means a hook like this. It's also pretty obvious. Later they added a mouth to it to indicate uh, another character that sounds the same, which is ju, which is a sentence. And in modern Chinese we have two characters. We have ju, which means a sentence. It comes from this. And go, which means a hook. So we have kind of a joke in Chinese. This is the word for xiao go, which means a puppy or a small dog. But sometimes we can change characters around and make it into kind of a joke. This is a show goer, and it's kind of a joke uh, how we can uh, simplify a puppy into something that in Chinese is kind of funny. It's hard to explain the joke in English, but it's basically funny. Okay, this is uh, where we get the character dog from. And I hope you learned something about Chinese characters today. I'm Uncle Hans. Hopefully you'll join me next time as we discuss more about the origins of Chinese characters.